cultures from around the globe. CDC was found dead last night. Of just wanted to demonstrate a simple VHF super regenerative receiver. It's almost the same circuit as one I described a few years ago, but this time I've added an LM36 audio amplifier. As a result, you'll get a better idea of how it sounds through this speaker. Just taking a look inside, it's mostly air, there's not much in it. Don't be fooled by the size of the variable capacitor. It came from an AM FM tuner and I'm only using the back section. The Super Regen Detector contains only a handful of components and you can just see below the RF choke the MPF102 transistor. This is the LM386 audio amplifier. Uses a few more parts than normal because I'm using the unleashed LM386 circuit which gives a bit more gain and drives a speaker well. The circuit of the Super Regen Detector fits on the back of an envelope. I suggest you look at my previous video for a bit more detail. I've changed a few of the component values slightly, but it's pretty much the same circuit. Instead of using a one transistor to drive a crystal earpiece, I'm using the LM386. Super Regen receivers are very sensitive and don't normally require an external antenna. All I'm using is this little bit of wire, about 8 centimeters long, but even if you took it off, you'd still pick up stations in most areas. Super Regen receivers use slope detection. You have to tune off to one side of the signal to hear it. The audio quality might not be as good as a dedicated FM receiver, but as you'll hear, it is surprising for the small amount of components used. This is the low end of the broadcast band, around 88 megahertz. You'll note that when I'm tuned right on the carrier, you don't hear much audio, so you've got to tune off to one side. You tune for the best audio quality. Little bit of distortion here, and there's a bit of detuning when I touch the antenna. to re 
his own. He's basically just given up. He's given up. He's given up. He's going to. He's leaving the game and uh, going to relocate. Cattle herd. South Wales. That was a, that was a different matter. That was. It was sort of. Complaining was complaining about. Uh, the, it was a planning issue, not a not a issue. But nevertheless, you know, as as you, heard black book, as you said, you know, we want to promote Victoria as a really natural home for all these micro producers and specialist producers. Yeah, uh, so we can sell all our farms to the Chinese, so they'll buy them. Oh, yes. oh well, you know. Uh, yeah, okay, sorry. Yeah, but you know, but it, it is true that we are trying to say, look, we are clean, we are green. Yes. We've got this. Some stations are a lot clearer than others. Just, not just a whole bunch of multinational. Now this station is so clear, you'd hardly believe it was a super regenerative receiver receiving it. The receiver goes a little bit above the top end of the FM broadcast band. They can be a little bit volatile to put together. There are certain frequencies that you tune across that the sound from the receiver changes or drops out. So be prepared to experiment with some of the resistor and capacitor they use. Super regen receivers radiate, so if you do listen to the aircraft band, make sure you have a RF amplifier to reduce the radiation coming out from it. I didn't need to build this receiver, but I did so because there's continuing satisfaction in what can be achieved with one transistor, even on VHF.